Like your mind all make home show, home show, home show. Oh. Then Auntie Anna says, finish the cake and pepper before you. <laughs> so she sent the yeah. Jusoko people to one dormitory. Yeah. <laughs> like me, I wasn't scrubbing, guys. I was, I was at the working at the sister's office. So <laughs> I was not lazy. Like I was that important. <laughs> well, like Saturday mornings, as soon as I see my mother's call, I know she's come to ask, "Are you going to visit my child?" I'm like, "Am I not your child too?" So don't forget to like, comment, say some. Don't forget to like, comment. <laughs>girls jhs and then girls from per plank school so my time that was it but then your time my time was just the per plank students in the ola boarding house okay like, so yeah. during her time um ola ola jhs was no longer for the ola sisters so the boarding house was made of just per plank students so like you made friends with the ola girls like you had friends at the Peplang school. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're in the same boarding house together. So it, it was only when we're going to school that we are like separate. separate. But then in the boarding house, we are the same. Like we both went to Ola boarding when we were in JHS1. So when I was going to um, GSS1, I left Gofields to Ola boarding and the same with her. How come that happened? Like to Ola I, boarding. I don't even get. Why did it like that? Like who did this? it like that? <laughs> because no, because I went there. They wanted her to go there as well. So or you wanted to be in the boarding house uh -uh. as well. I went there like class six. It was so young, like I was too young to go to the boarding house, but still. So after I went there, I think not like I think well, that boarding actually like built you up. Mm -hmm. So I think they yeah. saw. They saw what Ola Borden uh -huh. was capable of doing <laughs> and what it had done. Like I was a living proof, so they had to to let her go there as well. So she went there. And another reason was that when I was coming to Ola Borden, you were in UCC, right? Yes, 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 yes. When she so, was coming to Ola Borden, yeah. I was in UCC at the time, so like it was easier. I could go visit her anytime when she needed something. Like it, it was much more convenient compared to when I was in the lab board because yeah. when I was in the lab board and anytime I needed something they needed to come all the way from Takwa to Cape Coast but with her I was in school like I was visiting her almost every other visiting <laughs> can you imagine it was fun <laughs> it was fun so yeah I was visiting her almost every because like when it's visiting time when like Saturday mornings as soon as I see my mother's call I know she's come to ask are you going to visit my child I'm like am I not your child too are you going to visit my child that was like the first question she will call to ask you on Saturday morning. So every like every visiting, I was there. I'll cook for her. She sent me a list of uh, the stuff that she wants. Get it for Do her. You know that was a lot body that I lent your number, like your my phone, phone number, number of head, because like I was always the first call. <laughs> our dad, yeah, our dad is someone who is very 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 punctual. Mm. Like 
have no idea there was no day that school would reopen and would say oh i want to stay home for an extra day just a day or like see as soon as school reopens i'm sure we were part of the very first people to get to school like my dad is his punctuality is out of this world whenever school reopens and then i get to like as soon as i see the sea you know yeah when you are <laughs> traveling from from um takrade or albina to cape coast as soon as i see the sea oh mm. then i know that when we get to um the ucc gate before you came to to Ola, then i know that mm, 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 <laughs> it is time hey. so yes let's just talk about Ola boarding in general so Ola boarding is a girl school is a catholic school and it was such a ride hmm. it was such a ride but it was such an experience and then it helped me or her both of us it helped us to be independent sort of independent at a very early age because yeah. at the boarding house you are doing everything by yourself you need to manage your food your money um take care of yourself basically so uh, it helped us to learn a lot of things at uh, like a very early age which which was good in my time we used to go for mass and rosary every single day except except um we didn't go for mass on saturdays i think yes no but you your time you said you had um you, you had, were not you going had schedules for the mass yes like in classes in classes yeah. but my time it was not like that like all of us the entire boarding house goes for for rosary and mass every single day like yeah. guys we're kneeling down every day morning <laughs> evening kneeling kneeling oh boy you wake up at dawn like morning. yes you wake up at dawn you're sleeping by the window and you come and meet you in my blanket yeah yeah and all boarding is by the like it's actually very close to the sea so when it went like in the evenings it gets cold, cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's very very close to the sea. It's close to Saint Augustine's College. Yeah. So like waking up at dawn can be really really annoying. Like you're enjoying your sleep. <laughs> the sleep has entered your bones. And the way Antella will ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> the sleep has entered your bones, and then you have to wake up. Can you imagine? So yeah, we wake up every morning. My time when we wake up, we take our bath um, and go for mass. Yeah. So Before we you come and take breakfast. Yeah. So we go for mass. Come, we take our bath, go for mass. Then when we come back, we do our morning duties, morning duties before we have breakfast. Then after breakfast, we dispatch to school. Yeah, so that was like our usual morning routine. Then we go to school, and I think we come back for lunch. for lunch. Is it second break or first break? Second break. Yeah, so we come back for lunch during second break. So, Ola, uh, Dola. JHS girls, my time, Ola JHS girls, and then the Perplan girls who are in the boarding house. We both come back to the boarding house for lunch. Mm -hmm. But then during her time, it was just Perplan yeah. students, so they just come back to the boarding house for lunch. Then we go back to school. Be bear in mind that it's not like our schools are um, uh. miles away from the boarding house. Like the boarding house is like, let's say the boarding house is in the middle. middle. Our yeah. school, like one school is here, the other school is here. So it's just a walking distance. Yeah then after school um we come back to the boarding house so when we come back to the boarding house siesta at the time now siesta wasn't like compulsory, compulsory. but then when we went to i think ghs2 it became compulsory at hey, our time yeah it was compulsory guys the time that siesta was compulsory was just on saturdays and sundays no like our 30 to 4. our oh, our time every day like siesta every single day see guys when i went to without boarding first year i was not used to sleeping with the lights off i sleep with the lights on and my mom will come put it off and i was not someone who sleeps in the afternoon as well mm -hmm. so now we go to without boarding and siesta is compulsory like by force by force <laughs> you have to sleep and then the very first week or so when i tried to force and sleep in the afternoon like i'll sleep in the afternoon and sleeping in the evenings becomes a problem for me and bear in mind um when the bell has gone for light out all lights need to be out and people will be making all sorts of funny noises and you can't sleep like ima just imagine that how disturbing and how frustrating and scary that can be so like 
after that week my first week i just had to get a new strategy so now when it was siesta i made sure i didn't sleep sometimes antiana will come around or then or the prefect will come around to make sure that everyone is asleep like you can't even read during siesta you're supposed to sleep so what i used to do was i'll wait when they after they have done their rounds then i'll get up to read or something which dormitory i feel like forgotten which dormitory i was i was in sicilia okay me i went to maria i was in sicilia and i think yeah. i went to benedict down down yeah the, benedict is the first one and do you know our time to antenna <laughs> Benedict is the first one. Our time, yeah, yeah. our time, Maria girls were too troublesome. Maria, Antiana was always on their case. Maria, oh god. Our time too, she made a uh, Saint Philomena. Yeah, yeah, that's that's dormitory. And um, for those that they went to bed, like, they <coughs> okay, so she sent the Josokomo people to, to one dormitory. Yes. <laughs> our time, so when you enter, the ooh, you get back. Our time there, yeah, it wasn't like we we're mixed, and then just imagine. When sleeping is sleeping top. beneath someone who ah. wets her bed like you you just be there you hear it raining <laughs> so um i think after school we have siesta then after siesta uh, siesta um, we go house back. duties after siesta you yeah. do house duties again yeah in the evening you wow do house duties and then you go back then supper me my time after siesta I think we walk around for a while, then we go take our bath. Then, do we have um, dinner before rosary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have supper. Then we go. Then we go for rosary in the evening. Then after rosary, we have preps. So that was that was like the normal routine and all our boarding, like every single day, with the exception of Saturday. Saturdays are a bit different. different like. Yeah. Um, no mass. Um, just wake up, you we just wash. wake up, do your. But Saturdays, yeah, yeah, we just wake up, you wash, yeah. and then you do your morning duties. But Saturday morning duties are like intense. You need hmm. to do it well, especially those who school where like are places I where you have to scrub. Like me, I wasn't scrubbing, guys. I was at the working at the sister's office, so <laughs> that lazy, that I was not lazy. Like. I was that important, <laughs> so they had to put me at the sister's it office. It was me too. I was scrubbing. I was born too. Yeah, I scrub by the top side. Where you come? I'll let you fetch my top. <laughs> Guys, so yeah, I was working at the sister's office, so I just have to clean her place, make sure everything is like on point. Mm -hmm. So at the sister's office, those of us who worked at the sister's office, they called us office girls. My time, I worked there with Abigail and Miriam. There was a three of us, so they used to call us the office girl. Like whenever the, the sister needs something or anything, where are saying, the office girls? Where are the office girls? Mommy was saying every Saturday when she calls now, nah, you be the first. Yes, and answer. I was the one answering the calls. That's true. Like on Saturdays, so we had a phone. So one of one of the phones actually it was, it's the same number, but then the main phone is in the sister's office, and then like the extension is in the kitchen somewhere near the dining hall. Mm -hmm. So when you get a call. Mostly when we are working on Saturdays, we are those in the sister's office. So mostly when calls come in, we are the first to pick up. Then we'll pick and say, we'll call the person. We have a call. Then the person will rush to the kitchen to pick it up. So like me, on Saturdays, when my parents call, like I'm always, I'm there to pick it up. Those of us who were office girls, we, we also served as, uh, not like, we're not nurses, but we used to assist the school nurse. So the school nurse comes in like every evening hmm, for... You, you didn't have school nurse. Right. Oh, we had a school nurse during our time. So she comes in every evening. And then, like, people who are sick will come and see her. Did you have trunk room? Yeah, we had trunk room. But then, I think you they, they used to open the trunk room. Middle of the term. Yeah, once a term mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. So, in all our board, we don't keep our trunks with us or mm -hmm. under our bed, sort of. We had, like, a trunk room where... Yeah, we had a trunk room and a locker room. So in the locker room, everyone has her locker. And then, like, the lockers have been arranged according to classes. classes. So yeah, we start from, I think, class 4, 5, 6, then JHS 1, JHS 2, JHS 3. Yeah. So, like, it has been arranged according to classes. And so where your locker is, your hanger too is up there. With so your clothes, With your clothes on it. So your locker, your hanger. So that was where, like, we did almost everything. Like, after bathing, that is where we go to. Dress up. Uh, dress up and then go to school what what we did was 
for your provisions you have to divide them into two then put the ones that you are going to be eating now now in your locker so that is where you have access to every other day mm. then we had the trunk room where your second half of your provisions in your trunk locked up no access till mid middle of the, middle of the term and what else and we had a bag room where we put our school bags uh, and, our and our books so at least you know we had lockers yeah time, had lockers. oh okay our time i don't yeah. remember i don't think we had lockers it was just our bags and then we had sack bags where we kept like our all kids. our textbooks and yeah. stuff like that yes no our time we had the sack bags for the plates and our cups and then we had the locker for our books so oh okay your books in the locker I don't remember if we had a locker in the in the bathroom during our time. I really don't remember. But if you are if you are watching, then you are from like my time. Let's talk to my girls of the block now. Just comment down below if we had we had the old time. We had <laughs> comment down below if we had lockers in the bathroom because I in the bathroom because I really can't remember. Like I'm getting old. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. And like life in Ola boarding. Hmm. Like, it taught me a lot. It taught me to be independent. Like, it taught me how to live with people. And, oh, I was a mass server during my time. <laughs> I was a mass server. Everything you did inside. I was a mass server, yeah. And what else? What else? And I was a prefect. I was, mm -hmm. I was, um, what was the name of my house? If? Is this Benedict or something? I even don't remember. Like, I was, I was a prefect, a dormitory prefect. I was also the Borgia house prefect. What? Borgia. Borgia. You had a house called Borgia. Yes, when you go to school. You have Aquilin Borgia. Oh, okay. That's in per plan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I was, I was a prefect in the boarding house. Like, when I was in J, uh, GHS here, when I was in the lab boarding, I was very soft and calm. Like, I wasn't outspoken like this. I was I was really, really soft and calm. So, so how come? So, I, th <laughs> I think I was... Like a lot of people thought I could be something more than like a dormitory prefect, like maybe a boarding house prefect or something. But because of the way I was soft and calm, and then I even said I, I would be able to handle the people. So yes, Charlie, we had this, we had this uh, meat fire, and Tiana, and Tiana had this meat fire. So like when we are going for breakfast in the morning, like if you have your meat fire, you're on top. Hey, <laughs> you are on top. your milk, yeah. one thing. Yes, yeah, so ah. like all about the day was all about the food. <laughs> was all about the food that makes you on top like you're going for for breakfast in the morning and you bought pie you bought rockies you have your milk ah. and mostly what we did was maybe my school mother has other school daughters yeah. so obviously if i take him like one tin of milk i might not be able to finish it or i will not be able to finish it so if i'm sending milk today i share with all of them but the next time if they are bringing sardine yeah. we share yeah. the next time this person is bringing um something else star kissed we all share like that that was how it was so it was a family thing and um on saturdays to home cho <laughs> we had home cho groups <laughs> my school sisters were many. we had home cho groups so every like visiting saturday like the boarding house is always fun because charlie mm -hmm. during saturday um supper a lot of people food, yeah, a lot of people don't eat the dining hall food and when auntie anna too is in her <laughs> element it's on saturdays that she'll come to the to dining the dining hall. hall to make sure that you you finish, finish. <laughs> you finish the dining hall food before you step that out that is when she come and sit by that see the... when auntie anna is in her element don't go there because Charlie, and then I will carry her chair and come and sit in front of the dining hall door. Like, if your plate is not empty, you are not walking out of that, that door. Just mm -hmm. imagine having like a lot of food from home. Like, your mind all make home cho, home cho, home cho. Then Antenna says, Finish the cake and pepper before you. <laughs> Antenna says, Finish the cake and pepper before you leave. And guys, see me, I, I don't like kinky. I, I know I'm not a proper yeah. girl. So, Kinke is one food that I can never eat alone and finish it. So I remember my time, whenever the, the, there was kinke, I would either divide it or like give the whole bowl to someone. But then when Antiana is in her element, all of that giving your food to someone, Without. you can't even do it. So like I had to fall <laughs> and eat a bowl of kinke. Hmm. What about entertainment? Oh, well, I bought the entertainment. 
it was it was okay yeah i, mean, I feel like it's because it's a catholic school so yeah it's because it wasn't that it's because it's a catholic school but then um trust me at the time at the time we enjoyed it because we we hadn't had the the ss experience of entertainment yeah. so to us it was something it was fun yes yeah. until like we moved on to ss then we got to know that charlie what we were doing there was <laughs> was jokes crap wait during your time which um reverend sister was during my time the reverend sister was called sister monica and we had this other sister who joined. Guys, if you are watching and you, you were in Ola Gordon during my time, I forgot her name, but she used to worry us. Like, she was always on our case. I've forgotten her name. Uh, oh, Sister Benedicta. Sister Benedicta, okay. Our time was Sister Monica. Sister Monica would say, I see butter will not melt in her mouth. <laughs> But they were cool too. Like yeah, the reverend sisters. sisters. I remember entertainments will come and dance with us and all that. Oh, really? Yes. So, um, I wanted to say how Ola Borden helped her, like, how the experience helped you generally. Okay, so basically, it helped me do, like, basic stuff. Like, when I was I was here in Takwa, I wasn't washing on my own. When I went there, I had to wash on my own yeah. because my school mother wasn't going to wash, wash for me. you. Yes, I had to do that. No, too. but I think when you go fresh, fresh, your school mother does it for you. Because I think my, that one did. My school mother was washing for me. Yeah, like managing my money and food stuff. Yeah. So me too. I think Ola Borden helped me to be independent at a very, very um, um, early or young age. Because it taught me how to take care of myself without my parents being there. It taught me how to fend for myself. Not like fend for myself as in I'm hustling for myself. But obviously your parents are not there to um, get certain things done for you. So you have to do it yourself. And also managing my money. Because at time, um, though you have your own money, pocket they also money. give pocket money to Antiana. So like every the, at the beginning of every week, Antiana will give you your body for the week. So I think you can take... With, like there's a limit there's, <laughs> there's no cross there's a limit unless you have like a, a specific reason or like the stubborn ones can when you go she give you five six or two six unless you have like a, a good reason say yeah. oh i'm trying to maybe i need to pay for this and my the, the money i have is finished or something if not charlie the limit is 10 ghana you don't go about that. So then Ghana no the day be I are spending it that one CD or as soon as the the term begins, like when your parents send you to school, they give Antiana pocket money for you. Then we also our time too they used to give them um um money for church offering. Your time? Yeah. So our time too the when when your parents send you to school, like at the beginning of the term, they give um Antiana or the sisters your pocket money and then they give them your offering money. Uh, offering money they calculate it according to the number, number of Sundays we have in a yeah. term so that one is standard for everyone let's say if we have 37 Sundays in a term every, everybody's parents need to put down uh, 37 CDs for um, okay. offering because our time every, I think they were giving us one CD every day our time was thousand <laughs> yeah so one CD every day for offering so that one there was standard but then for the pocket money your parents decide which amounts like i think everyone's own was above 100 cities though but then um some people's pocket money could be 500 ghana some people's pocket money could be um 200 300 so with the pocket money we take it like i think every saturdays yeah, every yes to last us the entire week then on, uh, the they give the uh, church offering on sunday or we sunday take it on saturday morning. Yeah, so the church offering too, we take it on Sunday mornings before we go to church. And you wear your slit and cover. And you wear your slit and cover. Ah, our slit and cover. Eh? Yeah, All right, guys. So we've come to the end of another video. But before we go, if... Let me give a shout out to Antiana. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out, Antiana. We love you. Thanks for taking care of us <laughs> in Ola Borden and... Being our mother, like Auntie, oh. Auntie is actually still in Ola Borden, and yeah. she was there even before I went to Ola Borden. She's yeah. taking care of thousands, of thousands people. of ah. of of people who have Stop become and then who have become whoever they are now, yeah. and like she's she's amazing because she was in Ola Borden before my time, during my time, during my sister's time, and she's still, still there. Like 
so if you went to without boarding either my time her time or any year like even if you if, even if you were not there during our times so and you went to without boarding share some of your memorable experience with us in the comments section and like what you remember about Ola Borden, what you loved about the school, what Ola Borden taught you, and um, things you would never forget about Ola Borden. So drop all of them down in the comments section below, and I'll read and reply all of them. So please make sure you comment down below, especially if you went to Ola Borden. If you didn't go to Ola Borden too and you were in any boarding school during jhs let us know your experience how it was for you and all of that like we would love to know if it was the same in other um boarding schools so let us know if like let us know your experience thanks a lot for watching this video and thanks for having my sister here with me and uh, you see her on my channel in some other videos hopefully yeah. so don't forget to like comment say some don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. No, don't forget to what? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Okay, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.